I came from a single mom, didn't know my biological dad. The most difficult part of growing up really was not having stability and not really knowing where I was going to be from time to time or place to place. I spent really the mass majority of my life from the age of 16 until I was 24 in and out of institutions from juvenile corrections through adult correction facilities. And so when I found out that I was pregnant with my daughter at 24, life was very uncertain. The biggest and hardest experience was the day that I had to hand her to her grandma and go to court knowing that I was not going back home when she was four months old. There was a piece of me that felt guilt and shame because I was impacting the life of my child. And there was a piece of me that felt like it was time to get past it all so I could come back into the community and be her mom. When I went through the community actions program at Coffee Creek, it was during my second time of being an uh, incarcerated individual. It provided an opportunity for me to be able to have more visits. We participated in class two days a week. And our children were being brought to us. We would have a 15 minute transition with the caregiver and ourselves and our child. Once that transition time was over, we were uh, left with the opportunity to care for our own children for the next three and a half hours or so. There was the potential when I got home to our home that my child was gonna reject me. And those women provided me enough skills and resources and knowledge to say, work through the rejection. And the day that I went home and she was playing in the living room and there was aunts and grandmas and people there, when I walked in, she ran the other way. And for about two seconds, my heart broke and all the advice and all the knowledge and all the information they gave me instantly took me to the floor. And I sat down in the middle of the floor and waited for her to come to me and crawl in my lap and for her and I to start rebuilding this relationship in our home. I had decided that my mission in life and my goal was I was gonna bring more awareness to the opportunities this program provided. After obtaining a two-year degree from PCC, I transferred over to PSU and I got a undergrad degree in sociology. While all of that was happening, I was an active parent at Albina Head Start. I spent a lot of time volunteering in the classrooms and doing projects with the kids. I was told that if I wanted to become employed under this organization, um, that they would love to have me. And that sense of worth, and that sense of acceptance, and that sense of, you know I've been to prison, and you know I've lived a pretty dysfunctional life, but you are willing to take me underneath your wing and allow me to be a part of what you have at this level uh, was truly amazing. If there was not a community action early Head Start opportunity, I don't think that I would have gotten the bond um, that I have with my daughter. And I would have never found my place in my passion for what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. I have a great job. I work with kids and families. I advocate for children. I advocate for parents. We've purchased our own home. We've completely turned our lives around and we have so much going for us. And some days I feel like every day I'm, I'm breaking down a new wall that's put up. And it's not just a wall that's put up for me, it's a wall that's put up for everybody that's like me. 